Now, after my last video, the video we did yesterday, where I was looking at the whole Komuyi and the whole uh, Apostle Aramo Osai situation, talking about um, the concept of this whole idea of inheriting spirit. Wow, the comments were quite impressive. You see, the only idea is that, like I said in my community post, many people don't understand where they are. Most of you are just very new and very fresh right here. And over time, I think every week about 100 people get to follow me. But as time goes on, I'll leave you people to try to figure out where you are. So later we are going to do a follow-up video on that video so i get to pick some of the comments there and we get to break it down as i show you some other examples so like you know already on this platform no feelings. so today based on the whole story that has to do with the person of uh, Robert angel that has been lingering the new story right now is that of course he's been stripped of his diplomatic whatever the next thing right now is that he's going to be investigated and also he might go to jail a couple of things now I am looking at the news just like you are looking at the news. So I came across a video of Pastor Ebo Damina reacting to that particular situation. And I stumbled on a video where one particular man of God was shouting, any man of God that tells you that there's nothing like miracle money, he doesn't have power. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Nah, 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 Since they opposed me, did I die? No. I'm bigger than their pastor. Just this week, just this week, Al Jazeera have done a documentary on him. Now remember, as you have looked at the videos I have made before now, the first one about the whole miracle money, where I looked at different pastors' opinion on miracle money, for you to see that there's a that difference in the understanding, or would I say, the sermons on this. Some of you just... I look at the comment, people say, oh, can you limit God? No one can limit God. Even from what Apostle Eremo Osai said in the last video that, you know, give to Caesar what belongs to Caesar. I read an interesting comment of someone saying that, okay, so if money belongs to Caesar, why is it that we still give 10% in church for tithing? Now, if you want to know my opinion on tithing and all that, you have to watch my videos in the past. He is in a fraudulent business for his country where they have siphoned the money of their country. He's on Al Jazeera, he's on news. So he was stealing the money of his country and calling it miracle money. Now they have caught him. I'm not joking. Go and watch Al Jazeera. I won't give you details. Go and watch. It's not from my pulpit. I'll give you that. Card. Go and watch Al Jazeera. He's there. Let him go and climb pulpit again. Any man of God has a miracle man. Thief only. That was a little bit of more like uh <laughs> Of course, me myself here, I'm a commentator. So you can say that I'm mocking, you can say I'm doing this, you can say I'm doing that. The main thing is based on the fact. Like for example, when I started, when I made my analysis on it, I said the first thing I said was, ah, Al Jazeera has decided to touch your anointed his name is prophet Hubert angel ah so al jazeera has decided to touch the anointed <laughs> now for a fact if if you have exposed someone over time of gimmicks it comes so easy for you to address issues around them to be more like as expected but looking at the person of pastor about damina of course when we look at the subject of miracle money he stand on miracle money it's the same stand that the person of Apostle Aramo Osai has. Now, I know that both of them, there are videos here on social media where they have some doctrinal disagreement. And this is something you have to also know as a viewer, please. Just like you read in the Bible in Galatians where Paul evidently had more of like a confrontation with the person of Peter. Later, I'm going to look at that particular Paul and Peter situation is based on scripture because the same way you see me discuss the personalities you follow is the same way I'm going to discuss the personalities in the Bible like Peter and Paul using scripture not like as if I was there but based on the things written in scripture so we look at their relationship and really examine it you also have to understand that based on this there are going to be disagreements based on doctrine like last time I was watching a video yesterday of Hubert Angel speaking against the quote-unquote Catholic Church and talking about their doctrines and talking about the priests in the Catholic Church if you want to see that video type I want the video in the comments I'll extract it from where I saw it and show you him criticizing the 
Catholic Church and a couple of things he said, and also him criticizing different. So when it comes to this whole idea of criticizing doctrines or criticizing churches or criticizing personalities, it's something I've seen over time. Some pastors would do it codedly without mentioning names. Some would do it vehemently mentioning names. But the thing is that when that is happening in your churches and you are sitting under that administration watching your pastor saying those things, you, you don't care. You don't have a problem. But when I come and amplify those comments and amplify those things that are being said or discussed, some of you just become so angry and irritated that I'm showing you these things that are obvious and they happen. So I just wonder to myself when I read some comments, because I spend time to read what human beings think when they watch me. I just wonder to myself, why is this person, where is this person's brains in? Because this right here is a fact I'm discussing. Praise God. Then the pastor will now say, the same grace that worked for this brother will work for you. I shall amen. How? Are you doing the work that this brother is doing? Looking at the person of Ebo Damina, for example, last time when we looked at the, remember the gospel artist that recently passed on after his a scandal came out about him. This is what a pastor Ebo Damina had to say about that. Oh, what happened? And then I went on social media. And I'm seeing a lot of people putting R.I.P., 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 R.I.P. And what came to my mind is the cruelty of the church. The wickedness in the heart of people that are in churches. Not too long ago, the man was in a situation. And all the church did was to beat him up. Beat him up. Scandalize him. Announce him. Batter him wound him, cancel his meetings, stop him from their churches without even telling him, shut him down, delete his number, block his number. As far as they are concerned, he is now Satan. The only organization on earth that wounds is wounded is a church. A brother does something wrong. A sister does something wrong. Instead of the church to come around and give support and give encouragement and give comfort and restore. Even if you want to rebuke, you rebuke in love. You rebuke, you correct, you bring back, you support, you strengthen. They take and throw him out. And everybody batters. And then, not too long after that, he dies and they say, oh, what a loss. Oh, what a loss. Indeed, a loss, right? But you are the people that killed him. Because what kills a man fast is rejection. That's why many people died in COVID. Because COVID was the display of rejection. The moment you are inflicted, you are separated from your family, from your loved ones, from your friends. You are separated from everybody that means anything to you. You are isolated to a place where you wonder, then what am I living for? Isolation. The cheapest way to kill a person is to isolate him. That is why when David wanted to kill Uriah, he said, when you people go to battle, put him in the middle of the fire and all of you withdraw isolate yourselves from him so that the bullet will know where to strike the church the church i'm still going to talk about this I, i'm just i'm just giving you a heads up i never start she they like me very well when i say something then they help me announce her then go hear this one woto 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 the church needs to come to age Jesus said, any of you that is without sin, cast the first stone. You cast the first stone. Selective morality. The areas where you are strong, you project it. The areas where you are weak, you hide it. Then you'll be busy you putting your strength in the face of people. And when they miss it, you will not finish them. And Jesus will say, any of you that is without, any of you that is cast the first stone. But the church is going to come of age. Whether they like it or not. We will feed them this thing by force. And when you are eating, even if it's by force or by choice, as long as you are eating, you will grow. <laughs> Except the food didn't enter your mouth. Once it enters, you will grow. Okay, my wonderful viewers, I want you, if you are a follower of Pastor Abel Damina and also 
prophet upert angel as they like to be addressed can you suggest to your pastor pastor Ebo Damina, to invite prophet Hubert angel who wants an auditorium or an audience that are up to you know lot of numbers unlike what he said in the other video we looked at that he can't leave his 4,000 members to go to 15 members or something. I think Pastor Elba Damina has quite a number of um, following and also has a huge um, audience. They are generals in their respect, for those of you that use the term God's generals. So that um, Prophet Hubert Angel can maybe come to his church and then perform the miracle money so that he can prove to Pastor Elba Damina that he can perform miracle money since he is the one that has the power to do so. But looking at this video right now, at least you can see that it seems like Pastor Abel Damina is maybe being a victim, maybe being a victim of his own words, I would say. Or would you see his uh, speaking about the doctrine of miracle money or reacting to Al Jazeera's report as being correction in love can you see so looking at his person and what he had to say as at that time think for a moment to yourself if Ebo Dabina is saying this about the person of Hubert Angel does it correlate to what he said about the death of the artist Samuel Poso what he said about the death of the artist Samuel Poso does it correlate with what is happening what he's saying right now about the person of Hubert Angel because of course you have to practice what you preach no be so so you now have to wonder to yourself with his comment I made a video reacting to his comment about the person of Samuel Poso if you have not watched the video I'm gonna link it in the pinned comment so if he's if he's reacting this way shouldn't you have been expecting that maybe he would come and you know defend Hubert Angel or you know, speak up for him and say, oh, is this, is that, is that. So what happened? And we now say that his reaction towards the person of Samuel Poso's death must have been hypocritical or him just keying into the train to be heard. I'm just giving hypothesis right here. I'm not making an emphatic statement before uh, but Amina followers start to rant in the comments because right now, of course, what he said about Hubert Angel is based on the contention around miracle money, which is a fact. Facts have no feelings. But the, and then based on that, he makes a comment about the Al Jazeera situation, which is what he's saying, of course, is a fact and it's true. So me right now, you cannot, when it comes to me discussing about this, I don't have to, talking about my person as a commentator, I will not come and see, let's say, Hubert Angel doing a fake miracle money staged, of course, and then keep quiet because, oh, body of Christ, let's not talk about things happening in Christianity. Let's not bring bad name to Christianity when someone in the faith is evidently doing things that are clearly not of the faith or maybe him faking a credit score miracle which we discussed right here and showed you the fact and then we say oh let's just keep quiet and then let's not talk about these things because you know it's making Christianity look bad that is not the point the point is that the more these things have been allowed to thrive the more they become emboldened to even do more in the end and that's why these things should be discussed so tell me based on looking at pastor Elba Damina's reaction to it of course which is factual and then what he had said earlier on based on Samuel Poso's situation and a brother what can you reconcile of that it's just a discussion reading your comments right away and see you in my next video the name is George <laughs> Oh, 